but in this case, even if you still didn't want to use substitution, I want to say that it should still work, all right? So should we try it that way and see if it works? All right. All right. So I'm going to skip some steps just purely for the sake of time. 3C plus 6, we need to square that, right? So that should give us 9C squared plus um, 36C plus, uh, oh, 36. That seems odd, but it seems like it would work. All right, and then we need to distribute this 12, so I got plus 36C plus uh, 72, and then minus 28. So if I combine my like terms, it looks like I've got a 9C squared, and then uh, my two C values, 72C, and then uh, 36 plus 72 minus 28 plus, um, is it 80? Okay. You should check that with your calculator. All right. Well, let's multiply the A and the C values, which would be 9 times 80, which is going to give us 720. And we need two factors of 720 to add up to 72. Um, oh, geez, what the heck is that? Um, not, that's not going to work. Let's see. So 12 plus the 60 would give us the 72. So I'm going to split my 72C up into uh, 12C plus 60C. And then uh, plus that red 80 right there, and we still have that 9C squared. So factoring by grouping, we're in pretty good shape here. We can factor out from these two a C at least, but it looks like a 3 also. So that leaves us with 3C plus 4. And then on a second set, and what the heck. 60 and 80, so 20 plus 20. And then we've got 3C plus 4. Oh, that's good. And this one's going to work out really good. We've got the 3C plus 4 that we factored out from both expressions. And then we also have the 3C plus 20. Yeah, that's good. So, on problems like this, I don't know if that means it takes longer. I mean, you guys have to decide. And, and that turned out pretty easy. But I think substitution will turn out pretty easy on this one. So, let's see how that works out, okay, with substitution. All right, so let's try the substitution method where we have something squared, particularly that 3C plus 6. And then it also appears in the middle term as well, but not squared this time. So, if I said, let u be 3c plus 6, and it may help to see that with parentheses, then I can replace 3c plus 6 in parentheses with u. So, here I've got u squared plus 12, and then that was times 3c plus 6, which I'm just going to say is u minus 28. So, yeah, that, that right there looks a lot easier to simplify at this point, or factor, I should say. So 28, we're looking at two factors of 28, which will add up to 12. Um, seven, seven and four doesn't work, but um, 14 and two then. That's pretty good. 14 and negative two. So when I add these two, I get that uh, 12. So 12 is gonna split up into 14u and then minus two u. And, of course, we had minus 28 and u squared. So, factoring by grouping. Oh, that's a u, not a v, by the way. Uh, looks like all I can factor out is a u. 
So I've got u plus 14. Then I'm going to take out a negative 2 from these two terms, giving me u minus, is that, yeah, plus, thank you, plus, oh yeah, plus 14, that's what we wanted. So when these factor even further, we've got our u plus 14 and our u minus 2. But we can replace u with that 3c plus 6. So 3c plus 6. That was a plus 14, right? And here we've got 3c plus 6 minus 2. So we're just going to simplify inside both sets of parentheses. I've got 3c, 6 plus 14 is 20. And then I've got this 3c, 6 minus 2 is 4, plus 4. Which is the same thing that we had in the first place.